Um, I just got my first fair wholesale order, which is super exciting. Welcome back to another studio vlog. This is Christy from Full Bloom & Co. I hope you are all doing well and that you stay for this studio vlog. Um, it's been a while. The last vlog I put up was from August of 2022 and actually this footage is from back then. So what you're seeing here is me just organizing my latest sticker sheets and I was also gonna prep for um vendors market that happened at the end of september but you know i'm having a new baby and with two kids now until i do have to start a lot sooner um, than needed so here i actually took a month to get everything ready for the market so it is what it is um so yeah here you can see me bouncing to sleep I later realized he was actually not sleeping <laughs> so it was a short nap for sure um, but yeah I'm also unpacking an exciting commission that I got from um, the most exciting thing about commissions is that you can get anything right so here it was a German teacher based in Seattle I'll link her down below and she commissioned me four greeting cards for the Christmas season, all in German. So it was so, so lovely to work on this and get outside of my comfort zone. I don't even know German, so it was interesting to write the like, Christmas message on it in German. And yeah, mommy duty calls and I have to go. Okay, so this was actually a few weeks later um, after the first few clips with my son that you just watched and here I am prepping for the vendors market. Um, I did two markets and actually three. I did three markets at the end of 2022 and here I'm just organizing all my small paintings uh, these are canvas paintings with using Posca pens and they are so fun to make. Um, I didn't end up taking them to the market because I didn't have a lot of roof space. And oh, this is my favorite, the tulips one, so, so nice. But anyways, I didn't end up taking them because I don't have enough booth space as I was saying. Um, I have to prioritize my sticker sheets and my die cut stickers as well as my greeting cards. Um, I also tested out the washi tape setup and I think it works really well. Um, it's honestly what's been attracting most um, people the more I can't English right now, it's quite late. <laughs> Anyways, the washi tapes. Um, I feel like it's what's been attracting more people lately. Um, they kind of eye them and they are either like in love with washi tape already or they're like, oh, what's this? Um, so it's quite funny to watch that. Um, yeah, here I was just testing out the um, die cut sticker situation because I have so many designs that it just gets um, messy basically. but. I decided to go with a vertical setup. So, um, if you've never vended at markets before, the verti vertical setup is what you want to go for because basically you want to meet 
um, your customers at their eye level as much as possible if everything is just laying down on the table it doesn't work visually it doesn't appeal to people as much so yeah I ended up um, asking my husband to put some acrylic um, shelves that I'm showing you guys in a few seconds um, and then on the acrylic shelves I uh, put the sticker sheets you will be able to see this in a few clips that I got and also shameless plug go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already um, it's at full bloom and co I share a lot more behind the scenes and like direct stuff almost live <laughs> And yeah, I share a lot about my markets and I have my setups on there if you want to check it out. But I do have a quick clip that I filmed for reels. Um, other than that, I think like the vertic vertical, ver uh, I can't talk right now, but the vertical setup is really, really, really where you guys want to uh, put your eggs on if you are thinking about going to a market. And here's a quick setup. And the front and my baby <laughs> I had to take him with me so yeah this is the acrylic shelf I was talking about hi guys it's been a while um, it's now October 4th and I'm deep in the trenches of Inktober which I'm taking part of this year at least it's my hopes that I can finish um, this year and I'm also I just wanted to share this huge at least for me it's was one of my goals for this year and it's not completely checked off yet but it's the start um, I just got my first fair wholesale order which is super exciting it's for a um, shop in Long Beach California and I'm so 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 happy they're gonna carry my Christmas washi tapes and some fall and Halloween sticker sheets I'm gonna share I'm gonna show you my packing clips uh, but yeah I just wanted to include you guys on this because um, this is what I'm sharing over here I'm sharing my journey of building up my small shop so come along come on Because this is going for a shop that doesn't carry my uh, name or my shop information, I'm trying to play around with the washi tape like this. So I have the cover of my washi tape and then on the back I have my logo and my name so then people can read Full Bloom & Co. I mean at least I hope they can. <laughs> So if you've watched my video this far, thank you guys so so much, it really means the world. Let me know in the comments what you were up to 
um, at the end of 2022 other than the holidays if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah I would love to know what you guys do and what your traditions are um, I'm a sucker for Christmas but I know it can be a hard season for a lot of people so I just want to be inclusive and super aware of like I know not everyone is like obsessed with Christmas so I'd love to know about you guys what are you uh, more excited for at the end of every year and what is kind of your routine your self-care um, habits and whatnot I'd love to know here I'm cleaning up my desk because I was getting ready to film um, the I think it was the sticker like a sticker review part two I had stickers from Moo and from sticker app laying around and I am still viewing those um, here I actually might have been filming a reel yeah anyways i was also putting the sticker sheets um, in my inventory spreadsheets and also working on my market inventory because it gets super messy um, basically every time i do a market i have to know how many sticker sheets of each i'm taking so that i know what i'm selling um, so it gets so chaotic when you're in the moment and you just want to enjoy everyone visiting and talking to you everyone's just so lovely you want to absorb all that energy but then you also want to know how much you sold um, I don't have a very robust software that allows me to just like say that I sold one or two cat sticker sheets um, basically, I calculate the value of the sticker sheets by, like, of any order, by um, by hand, and then I just charge people on Square. I don't like click the listings on my website, so the managing the inventory is quite tough to kind of get the hang of. So this is a method I have found that helps me. I basically found. Uh, 15 of every item so 15 uh, items of each product that I have and then I take those to the market and I put it in the inventory uh, I deduct it from my overall inventory levels and then at the end of each market or either at the end of each market at the end of two or three but at least at the end of a quarter I count um, how many I have left from that if I need to restock it in between markets, then I do have a count again, if you know what I mean. Anyways, an inventory vlog would be a total like 20 minute video probably because it's kind of the hardest part of running my business, I must say. Um, I love it and hate it, so it's kind of bittersweet. But anyways, I love counting my stickers, I love like taking care of them and putting them in their little um, compostable plastic bags but then oh, counting the stock after every market is kind of a pain uh, but you have to do it you have to do it so yeah here you can see my lovely setup just facing the trees in my backyard i cannot complain about my view so at least that's a plus I have so many sticker sheets now, it's getting kind of crazy and hot at hand, but I take them all to the market because you never know who might like them, right? So yeah. Um, next you will see me packing my stationery boxes, which was a product I did for the first time this year and they were not the success I was expecting, I must be honest they didn't sell out like i was envisioning or like like i was attracting but i did sell them at markets so i think i did a pretty good job like marketing them online and on my instagram and everything but then they didn't sell online they only sell, sold at markets which was kind of interesting 
um, I even had a lady saying that she was buying it for herself but saying it was a gift <laughs> which I thought it was super cute um, but yeah if you want to check the stationery boxes I have a frog a peach a strawberry and a Christmas theme they're all still in stock um, and yeah just check them out it's www.fullwomanco.com and lastly but not least at all I am packing my first 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 ever enamel pin this has been a dream of mine for the like I think at least for 2022 and I did it at the end um, I did a Christmas pin that you can also wear year-round because it's basically just a twinkling pine tree all cute and smiley and it was such a success at markets I almost sold out I still have a few left if you're interested uh, but they are so cute they're dandy they're like one inch which is two and a half centimeters and they are so sparkly um, let me know what you think of those I have a full clip of me like packing them for the first time here they are just look at them I'm gonna leave this as an ASMR uh, why didn't I say that correctly ASMR clip because it's just so lovely enjoy got pretty busy at the end of 2022 but I'm so happy I was still vlogging here and there so that I can sh still show you a few behind the scenes clips of what's going on it gets crazy most of the days and I don't have a lot of time to work on my shop and whenever I do I just feel so happy that I want to record so you guys can get a glimpse of that so thank you so much so so much for watching my vlog and for being here if you're still here give it a like subscribe and comment down below just say hi and tell me what you're doing right now i would love to know i hope you're having a fantastic day or night and that you guys are staying well physically and mentally 
I so 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 appreciate you being here and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!